Good morning and welcome to SI Lives AM with Alex. I'm Alex Salmeri. It's Wednesday. We have another sunny day ahead of us. Here are today's top headlines. New York City has over 184,000 confirmed coronavirus cases, bringing Staten Island to 12,733 with 721 confirmed fatalities. There are an additional 163 cases deemed probable. Senator Schumer and members of Congress are calling on the federal government again to help New Yorkers pay for burials for those lost to COVID-19. Dozens of fundraisers appear on the popular crowdfunding website GoFundMe from Staten Islanders asking for donations to pay for a loved one's funeral. Now officials are asking the federal government to release the Individuals and Household Program, which would allow New York under the FEMA Individual Assistance Program to provide assistance to families who've lost loved ones to COVID-19 and are unable to pay for a funeral. In other news, memorial candles have been placed near the home where a man and his pregnant girlfriend were gunned down with a second woman who was injured in a horrific home invasion in Mariner's Harbor. The NYPD filed murder charges against the suspect who had a past criminal record. Police are now investigating whether the invasion was fueled by drugs. Here's an update on beach openings. As of now, you can go to the Jersey Shore this summer, but you might not be able to partake in your favorite beach activities. Many of the Garden State's beaches that have reopened have a list of restrictions in place. Some beaches allow walking, running, and fishing, while a select few are allowing sunbathing with social distance restrictions in place. However, the amount of Jersey Shore Beach and Boardwalk access is up to local governments. And to end today's show on a positive note, the Knights of Columbus donated masks to medical facilities. The Knights spent yesterday morning delivering 200 masks to Carmel Richmond Nursing Home and 350 masks to Staten Island University Hospital in Ocean Breeze. Along with help from other organizations, they raised over $3,000 in just two weeks. Visit SILive.com to learn more about all of these stories. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you for watching. Stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned for more updates.